talk to me I really wanna know what you much for tuning in we got over a thousand people in here okay first of all shout out to everybody who uninstalled the app once i left okay because everybody been calling like t don't start yet i'm trying to reinstall the app you know what i mean they noticed that when the tea sippers ain't in the green room it is not popping our presence was definitely missed so shout out to y'all for just always coming through and supporting everything I do. It means the world to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy they missed us. We're back. We, re we re-downloaded the app, okay? And we got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. So it feels good to see y'all in here. I see the gifts. I see the memes. It's a lot going on. And I want to hear from a lot of people. You know, this is an open forum. I want to keep it respectful. I understand the topic is very sensitive, you know, to both men and women. You know, a lot of guys really looked up to Kevin Samuels and looked at him as a godfather. You know, they have a lot of love and respect for him, regardless if you agree or disagree. You know, quite a few women think differently. But I want at the end of the day for us to just have a discussion. We don't have to agree. We don't have to agree with everybody's talking points. I don't expect everybody to agree with me either. But I think that as adults, we can all be respectful and see where each other are coming from. Okay. So I got my girl in the house, Lady J. She's on stage with me. Hey, how you doing? I hope y'all can hear me because, boy, they talked about me last down. time. I'm about to blow my eardrums. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Praise God because, boy, they was last time. They was like, we can't hear her. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, we, we can hear you, sis. We, we can hear you. We can hear you. She picked her audio and everything. We hear you coming in loud and clear. Right, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so it has oh my been goodness! A whirlwind of a few days. It has been. It's been crazy. <sighs> I want to ask you. Yeah. Because you know this has been literally you know news, especially in the black community, the mm. Hunter and Samuel situation, his passing. Did you watch his videos and like, how did you feel about him in general? This is your opinion. How did you feel about his platform, the things that he spoke about? Did you agree with some things? Did you not agree? How did you feel like when you hear the name Kevin Samuels, what did that invoke for you? Uh, to me, and, and well put question, I must say, because mm -hmm. what does the word name Kevin Samuels <laughs> invoke? I think um, that my engagement with him was very minimal. I, I honestly say I've saw clips of his and it's unfair to really judge someone based off of clips. You know, we've had that discussion before, you know, just as a community and whatnot. But what I saw and the overwhelming response based off of the few things that I saw, I felt that he was divisive, that this was a cash grab and it was an opportunity for an error that to me kind of like Trump ushered in this era of lack of decorum and disgust. You know, that's just my interpretation. And so I felt like this whole energy at this time kind of brought this out. Shock jock is nothing new. I think, you know, that, that term about him has been put out, but um, that was my overall thought of him. And then I started hearing some of the things that he was saying. I was like, oh my God, who is this guy? Um, so to be honest, I really didn't have much information on him. I just termed him as just another basic dusty that is, you know, dragging black women for cash. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Okay. Now I will say this. I think also, um, this whole attacking black women, like, let's keep it real. I don't care what side of the spectrum you're on, male or female. It's definitely a, a cash grab. It's definitely monetizable. Mm. One, because you have a lot of black women who, for whatever reason, they're so emotionally invested in what people think of them. Because mm. to me, if you have nothing positive to say about the race that I come from or, you know, my beauty, and you're just painting all black women with one brush, why do I want to listen to that? You get what exactly. I'm 
and you have people like I'm not a glutton for pain. Teach us on, but I'm not no I'm mm-hmm. not a glutton for pain unless you spank me. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, but, you know, when it comes to like listening to somebody just say, well, you guys are fat, unattractive, and, da, da, da. and I'm not saying that's all he was saying, but I'm just saying it's not just him, it's a lot of people on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just Kevin. Mm-hmm. And so that's I don't want to give my energy to that. And I just never understood the ones who do and get mad. Like he, he has a black female fan base that does support him. Don't get it wrong. There was a girl, she wrote a whole RIP letter to him in my comments. You know, I, I, I changed my diet. Me and my husband are doing Ooh, better because he was having, like she was really a fan. I can't knock her that, you know what I mean? That was her decision and she watched him. So he did have a segment of females who did support him. But then you had True. other people to me that were just gluttons for pain. Y'all don't like him. Y'all are mad. But yet, still, as soon as he go live, you the first one there. Why? And that's the point. Like they said, like eighty percent of his audience, it maybe my numbers are wrong, were women. It's like what? So y'all like being abused, and see, that's a whole nother conversation of toxicity and 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 trauma, um, because a lot of times, and I hate to say this, a lot of us are custom of being treated like shit. And and being reduced. I'm not saying that that is all of us, but y'all can't deny and sit here that saying women of color are not always relegated to that category. We've yeah. always been put there. And so, unfortunately, stereotypically, we're so accustomed of being there or people perceive us as wanting to always be there. He just found a niche. Yeah. And it was allowed. And the thing about it is, some of us helped to perpetuate it as well. Let's keep yeah. it real here. Now, there was an old video, and I'll post this when I do the editing. I'm going to do this in post. There was an old video that the tea sippers found, and they posted on the Discord of Kevin. This was Kevin four years ago. When I tell you mm. this man, he didn't have no gray hair. He looked extremely mm. handsome. He was in his car basically holding men accountable. He was talking to men and holding them accountable. And he looked so much younger. And Mm -hmm. the advice that he was given was genuine. Like he was Mm -hmm. genuinely trying to help men. And a lot of times, guys don't want to hear that truth. We just don't. You know, if I come on here talking about, you know, female nature, such and so forth, and if I would start bashing women or talking about, talking noise, oh man, the likes and everything would go through through the roof. But when you start talking to men saying, guys, you know, cheap is some of the most expensive stuff out there. You got to do better. with. But see, what happened is when he was talking about men and he was talking about hygiene and keeping yourself up and, you know, saving your money and, and trying to do stuff. The men didn't want to hear that. They didn't support mm-hmm. that message. And, and he said you know, that, too. Yeah. And the women weren't either. It wasn't until he turned his message more negative. And was beaten down on black women, you know, quote unquote, mm-hmm. that everybody tuned in. And I think that says a lot more about us as a people, because when he first got, because I'm telling you, I was shocked because I, I wasn't a watcher of his. But when I seen this video, so in four years, this man went gray as hell, stressed, you know, and y'all can say, well, he's making money and he's getting fame. That doesn't mean that you're necessarily happy because y'all got to understand energy. It takes a lot more energy mm, to mm, always mm. have to be angry and go off and think of something quick and slick to say. And that takes a lot of energy than just talking and just being yourself. You know, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. when you see that video of him four years ago versus where he was at now, you can just tell, like, even in that final video of his, when he was talking to somebody, he just seemed agitated. You could tell after a while, you know, it was it was taking a toll on him. Absolutely. You could see it in his face. I mean, this is only a four year difference. And I was shocked at how much younger he looked and just seemed. I was too. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that too. And I was like, is that the same little scrawny dude? Like, you know, a good suit and a, and a, and a taper would do wonders. And a good meal will do wonders for a person. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> that's all I saw. But the thing about it is you're right. And I saw the video. I was like, wow. You know, here we go again. Making money off of the degradation and the reduction of the black experience. And you're absolutely right. What scares me, though, is the fact of how 
easy he transitioned to that. And it is a cautionary tale. You're right. He did reduce himself. Somebody said in the in the um, chat, low vibrational. And that's right. Don't you know when you put that negative stuff out there, you, you're kind of you're feeding out and you and you're putting out negative that comes back or you're taking away you're never actually putting back in so you're pulling and taking away from yourself and it looked really like he had put out so much negative that the essence of what his probably good nature was was gone yeah. like th there was you just to me he was just the shell of a just nasty, mean, evil person, and then to find out how he left this planet based off of everything that he was disgusted by. Like, wow, the irony. Yeah, yeah the death was definitely, you know, it, it was a lot. It was a lot to talk about. Now, we're going to start taking some calls, but before we do, um, mm. I want to play a clip that's gone viral of Vivica Fox. She's speaking on Kevin Samuels. And when I watch this video, I'm like, if she seems hotter than fish grease, like this don't come off as just a simple opinion. Well, you know, the teachers <laughs> is on play child. They done dug through the archives of Kevin Samuel stuff. Cause they like, now, nah, mm. no, shout out to young Kobe. Young Kobe found this clip. He was like, what's nah, up, Vivica young Kobe? Fox is a little bit, right. He said, Vivica Fox is a little bit too angry. He found an old clip of Kevin Samuels where he's basically talking about, because Vivica Fox and the, you know, the the Fox crew, the Fox O crew, they mm. were in a discussion with Ice Cube. And so Kevin is reacting to it, and he's kind of dragging Vivica. So that is where all her anger came from. Now, I'm going to play y'all the video. I'm going to let y'all listen to the video of Vivica, then I'm going to play the video of Kevin, okay? Y'all going to laugh. Hold on real quick. Lisa Ray both had the whole side eye. Like, what the <laughs> hell? Is he kidding me? Oh. Healing? Healthy? This man was a, 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 a hypocrite, in my honest opinion. He really was. I didn't find anything about him to be healing. He insulted uh, African-American women on a consistent basis. Uh, one of his last statements that uh, he said was that if you're over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, that you're no good and disposable. Um, to me, it was a shock jock. And, you know, I, I hope this is teaching folks a lesson about the karma that you put out, the negativity that you put out in the world, that when karma comes knocking at your door, she might not be so kind. So, you mm -hmm. know, the fact that he uh, killed over real quick and was uh, supposedly with a woman that we don't know, yet know the nationality. Um, rest in peace. All right. So y'all heard what Vivica Fox said, and it was something about her energy. So, you know, the t was like, yeah, she, she's a bit angry. Like, you know, it comes off kind of personal. So let's mm -hmm. go ahead and play what Kevin Samuels had to say about Vivica Fox. This was a year ago. Um, this is the clip that young Kobe found. That's a slippery slope to, to walk down because it, as we saw with Barack A lot of progress has been made. It's not as simple as- A lot of progress has been made. Shut up, Vivica Fox. I'm about tired of seeing your twisted up mouth everywhere. Every time you come on camera, your face is twisted up. We get it. You're a smart, sassy, strong black woman. Do you have another gear? Do you have another character? You've been playing the same character for the last 30 years. We get it. Damn. You get elected and bam. All right. So y'all just heard that clip. So that is why Vivica, you know the teacher don't miss shit, honey. Hater. <laughs> Young Kobe <laughs> said she a little bit too mad. He wouldn't have brought up that clip. I said, okay, now I get it. He broke your Good life. looking out, Kobe. Yeah, good, good looking out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I live for this, though. Yeah, I mean, the participation of the community to I have do. these discussions. You know what I mean? Like, you need that. Thanks, young Kobe. We appreciate you. Exactly. You know, we want to know the whole nuances of stuff. So, mm -hmm. context. I'm not saying Vivica was wrong. All I'm saying is that we need a right. context. She just seemed extra angrier than the other people on this. There's podcast. always background. There's always context. You got to dig a little bit, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So let's go ahead and take on some calls, Lady J. Um, definitely want to hear from the fellas. So fellas, I know there's a lot of hands up. Feel free to also call in. Thank you for listening to today's show. Make sure you join us again soon. For all the latest tea, make sure you follow me on my social media pages. Just put in L-O-V-E-L-Y-T-I on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.